Hope you guys have all been well and welcome back to the channel. Today we got a really fun video. Cinestill has sent over their new light source. This is the Spectracolor light source, the CS Light Plus. And if you guys follow the channel or follow me on Instagram, you know that I am a huge fan of camera scanning. That's all I do with my own negatives. So this is a great opportunity to share with you guys something really new courtesy of Cinestill. Now, we're gonna get into the details first of what comes in this box, and then we are going to head up to the scanning station. We're gonna set this light up, and we are gonna scan a roll of Cinestill 800T. So I shot this uh, recently at a couple shoot, and I'm super, super excited to see the results. So I've been waiting patiently for this moment to use their light source because this is something very, very new. So let's just jump into this. I'm gonna show you guys what comes in this box. So right off the bat, we see that you get a USB power adapter in here. You have a little card for their CS negative plus. So I'll just give you guys a little bit of a brief. Um, I have made a full length video covering this conversion software, which is by Cinestill. It's a free software. Um, well, free preset specifically. It's not a software. It's a, it's a preset for Lightroom or Lightroom Mobile or Adobe Bridge. So you can edit your negatives on your phone if you choose to. So that's a great little tool. Combine that with some cloud storage like free Amazon photos. Um, if you're subscribed to uh, Amazon Prime, it's a little tip for you guys. You have unlimited photo storage, so you can save all your negatives on there and then edit on Lightroom Mobile on the go from pretty much anywhere. So. Definitely check out the CS Negative Plus if you're looking for a free conversion tool. Um, this is gonna be a great option for beginners. Now jumping into the light source itself, uh, looks like we got some rubber feet for uh, the light source itself. And then we have a little card stating the accessories. Here's the light source itself. Let's open this up. It is a USB powered light and it's gonna come with these. So we'll get into this in a second, but let's take a look at the light itself. It is gonna be a USB-A adapter at the end, so you can plug this into a battery pack or one of your phone chargers. It's gonna work perfectly fine with that. And then you're gonna have a on-off switch right over here. Now jumping onto the light, you have a tripod hole on the bottom. Now I'm assuming this is for if you want to shoot sideways and you have, wanna have like a mini tripod, but if you are gonna do top down, put those little rubber feet, it'll help kind of keep your uh, light source in the same spot. Now this light is gonna come with these little carrier masks. So I'm gonna show you guys what these are for. If you have something like this, this is the Negative Supply Pro Film Carrier 35. What these masks are gonna do is you're gonna be able to stack them. So this is gonna be the first one. Number one, they'll hold these sheets in place. And number two, they will be used to actually block off any of the spill light that you're getting. So you can scan without having any extra light spill and your film carrier will sit right on top away from the light source itself to offer a little bit of diffusion and also to not get any glare in your lens. So you have two sizes, one for 35 and one of them is for 120. And of course you can and will and should uh, use this one to hold the sheets. Now a little bit more about the light. The light is designed specifically to produce the right colors for scanning film. There are specific wavelengths that are preferred when scanning color negative film, slide film, or even black and white. And this light is at its base calibrated to produce those specific wavelengths. Now these sheets over here are gonna be that extra step and add that extra little bit of juice to help you out and get the best results. So let's get into these. Now that's gonna come with four sheets. So we have here uh, these two, which are like the prism ones. Now, if you notice at the top right, so holding them this way, on the top right, you're gonna see a little bit of a notch. Now these are gonna help you uh, drop the filters in in the correct orientation. So that's very, very key. So within the four sheets, you have two of these prismatic kind of sheets. Now these are the translucent sheets. They do have a protective film over each sheet on the front and back. So do remember to remove those before scanning. And these are gonna be the last two sheets that you place on top. So these are always gonna be in the carrier. If you are scanning black and white film, these are the two to use and to start with and they'll just be stacked on top of each other, go right onto the carrier 
and then drop in this big mask if you're scanning 120 just to hold it down um, and then you can drop in the smaller one if you're scanning for 35. Make sure that the notch is on the top right hand corner and if you want if you need help removing the sheets you can just kind of pry them open at the top. Now do be careful be gentle with these you don't want to scratch them if you do scratch them they'll be perfectly fine um, but overly scratching them may introduce some artifacts. You can purchase, I believe, these replacement sheets on Sinistel's website if you need to. So those are the prismatic sheets. And then you have these two. Now, these two are going to be for scanning positive film and negative film. So they're going to offer two different color temperatures, basically, to correct for the either orange mask or correct for a little bit of that blue tint that you get with a lot of slide film. Now, these are going to be used always individually with out stacking them so if you are going to be scanning color negative film you'll place this one first and then you will always stack the two prismatic layers right on top of each other and then you can drop in this little holder to kind of hold the sheets down now those prismatic sheets are going to ensure that you get nice even coverage and just boost up that light source a little bit more to get nice even and solid coverage now i'm going to show you guys what that looks like in the studio we're going to be again scanning a roll of color negative film and I'm super excited to test this out. Huge shout out again to Sinistil for this. So let's jump into the studio and let's do a little bit of a test. And we're upstairs at the scanning station. So let's put this thing together. First thing we're gonna do is put on these little sticky rubber feet. And we're just gonna pop one on each of these corners. Give them a little bit of a press. And we are ready to roll. Now that we have our light source, there we go. And that's not gonna move. I'm gonna just use a little power bank to power this light. So the first one that's gonna go on is of course this blue one. And then for these two prismatic ones, just carefully peel off this little protective layer that's on each side. Perfect. So we're gonna stack these three layers on top of each other. And then we're gonna use our mask kind of sandwich them down and that's going to not only hold them in place but it's also going to create this perfect little mask for none of our lights to get through now that we have our light source in place we have our camera ready to go i'm going to grab my negative supply film carrier i do have a 35 millimeter mask in there perfect so this is looking great all right, so that is the end of our roll. So why don't we now jump over to the computer and let's see how these photos come out. All right, now we are in Lightroom. We have all of our images in here and I'm gonna do a quick conversion on some of these to just see what we got and the results. And I'm just gonna crop these real quick. And we're gonna use trusty Native Lab Pro. This is my go-to. You can, again, use any other conversion tool that you want here is the first shot now this was taken in a very dark diner so i'm just gonna drop down the exposure a bit okay so here is our first result and the colors look really really good i can bring down the blacks a little more uh, i'm just gonna reset this real quick let's see what we can do we'll just drop those blacks down bring that back in there was a red led outside so some of this is gonna have that little bit of red glow, a little bit of warmth, and that should even that out perfectly. Ooh, that looks absolutely incredible. Cinecell 800 is a great 800 speed film if you're looking to shoot in a, in a low light situation like this. Let's do one more over here. I really like this one as well. I've been super excited to uh, start editing these photos. So I'm gonna do again, quick little conversion here. But honestly, I'm loving this light source. It's performed really, really well so far. The colors look incredible. It's gonna sync up my scene over here just to speed up the process a little bit. It was the same lighting situation, there we go. And that's looking much, much better. Yes. Love this image so much. Look at the detail that you get. Ooh. Get some spots here we can clean up. Oh, loving this. 
Let's see, we got one more over here we can do. So let's do this one right over here. We'll convert white balance. Give us a quick little crop. Then we'll go to our conversion. Sinistel 800, if you're looking to recreate that cinematic lighting, that just bring that mood back into your photos, this is gonna be that film. We were aiming to kind of have this very, very dark and moody environment uh, where the photos were taken. And of course, kind of replicating those classic movie scenes and brighten that up with my whites perfect i'm very happy with this honestly guys i'm loving this light source and look if you guys are if you guys are looking to get into it this is going to be great i'll show you guys one with the cinestill uh, presets actually so why don't we do that let's do this one over here again we start off with our color balance and so we have the basic light convert with spectra color and with the tools so we're just going to go into the convert spectral color and we can scroll through a couple of these options and there we have it this is the before and this is the after using the free Cinestill preset pack so again you can just head over to their website it's free to download and free to use um yeah these are the images honestly love 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 how these came out the mood is incredible photos i'm in love with they're gonna love it i love it i need to shoot more cinestill 800 t that's what i need to do but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this little bit of almost like a behind the scenes of how i scan but also a little bit of a deep dive into the cs plus light source and the plugin from cinestill yeah hope you guys enjoyed this part I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully you guys found it educational and informative. And I hope you guys enjoyed a little bit of a preview of the Sinistil Spectra Color CS Lite Plus. This is, this is a great, great little product. If you're getting into camera scanning, this is gonna be a great introductory light source for you to use. Of course, paired with their free uh, Lightroom and Photoshop uh, preset, this is gonna be great for anybody wanting to get into camera scanning. I can't recommend this one enough. They're super lightweight, again, portable, so you can't scan with this on the go. But yeah, huge shout out to Cinestill for hooking this up. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys again for watching. And if you guys do want to support the channel further, consider subscribing, drop a like, and drop a comment letting me know what you guys think. If you guys have any questions, you can follow me on Instagram, send me a DM there. But again, I hope you guys enjoyed this one, and I'll see you guys real soon on the next one.